Hello students, today we will approximate the area under a curve applying the Riemann sum method. A Riemann sum for a function f of x over a closed interval a, b is a sum of areas of rectangles that approximates the area under the curve. The Riemann sum is shown on our screen and is the sum of all terms of f of x sub 1 delta x to f of x sub n delta x. We may represent the Riemann sum using the sigma notation, the sum as i equals to 1 to n of f of x sub i delta x. Let's start with our example and apply the Riemann sum method. In our example, we're asked to approximate the area under the function f of x equals to 2 over x on the closed interval 1 to 5 using, in part A, we want to use the four left-sided rectangles, and in part B, the four right-sided rectangles. The function f of x equals to 2 over x, the graph of the function is shown on our screen, and we are interested uh, on the interval from 1 to 5, which is the right side of the graph, and I graphed it here in part A. Starting with part A, we want to approximate the area under the curve using the four left-sided rectangles, and we are interested in the closed interval from 1 to 5. So our interval is from x equals to 1 to x equals to 5. If we construct rectangles, four rectangles on this interval, we see that the width of each rectangle will be one unit. So delta x represents the width of the rectangles, and it, it will be equals to 1. To construct the left-sided rectangles, we want to make sure that the upper left angle of the rectangle intersects with our curve. Starting by constructing the first rectangle, we see that the left upper angle of the rectangle intersects our curve. Constructing the second rectangle, also we see that the upper left angle of the rectangle intersects our curve. We do the same with the third and the fourth rectangles. Now to find, to approximate the area under the curve, applying the Riemann sum method, we will start by finding the terms, so the area, we're approximating the area of these rectangles, applying the Riemann sum method. We're going to start at x equals to 1, so f of 1 times 1 according to the Riemann sum method. Remember that f of 1 is the height of our rectangle to the point intersecting with our curve times the width, which is 1 delta x, plus now the height of the second rectangle to the point of intersection with the curve is f of 2 times delta x, which is 1, plus the height of the third rectangle to the point of intersection with the curve is f of 3 times 1, plus the fourth rectangle has a height of f of 4 times 1, which is the uh, delta x, the width of the rectangle. And this is approximately, we want to evaluate f of x equals to 2 over x at x equals to 1. So f of 1 is equal to 2 over 1, which is 2, times 1 is going to be 2, plus x is equal to now, 
f of 2 is equal to 2 over 2, which is 1, times 1 is 1, plus f of 3 equals to 2 over 3, times 1 is 2 over 3, plus x equals to 4, so f of 4 equals to 2 over 4, which is 1 half. Putting this on our calculator, we will find that the area is approximately 4.17 units squared. Notice this approximation is an overestimate of the area because we accounted for this part of the rectangle that is above our curve. Same thing with this rectangle and this rectangle. So this is an overestimate of the area. We now move to part B. Starting with part B, we want to approximate the same area now, but using the four right-sided rectangles. We have the same interval from x equals to 1 to x equals to 5. Using the right-sided rectangles, now this time we want to make sure the upper right angle of the rectangle intersects with our curve. First, we still have the same width if we're going to construct four rectangles on this interval, we will have delta x, the width of the rectangles. Delta x is going to be 1. And now our rectangles will be under the curve. Starting by constructing the first rectangle, we know that the right upper angle of the rectangle should intersect with our curve. So this is our first rectangle. Now we do the same with the second, with the third, and with the fourth rectangle. So let me fix this. Okay. Now, to approximate the area under the curve, applying the Raymond sum method, we're going to follow the same steps we did here. So to approximate the area, this time, our x is equals to 2, and the height of uh, our first rectangle will be f of 2, because we are uh, interested in the point of intersection with the curve, and it's at uh, f of 2. So our first term is f of 2 times the width of the rectangle, which is delta x equals to 1, plus now the height of the second rectangle is f of 3 times 1, plus the height of the third rectangle is f of 4, times 1 plus the height of the fourth rectangle is f of 5 times 1. Notice the difference between the two estimation, the approximation of the area. The right sided started at uh, f of 2, the height of the rectangle. And this estimation is an underestimation of the area because we did not account for this part under the curve. So this is an underestimation of the area. And also, we, uh, we, the height of the last rectangle was f of 5, while the height of the left-sided rectangles was, um, the height of the last one was at f of 4. Now, 
And also, we noticed that the right side of the rectangles were under the, our curve, and the left side of the rectangles were over our curve, above our curve. So evaluating f of 2 in f of x equals to 2 over x, we find that uh, f of 2 equals to 2 over 2, which is 1 times 1 is 1, plus f of 3 equals to 2 over 3 times 1 is 2 over 3, plus f of 4 is 1 half, plus f of 5 is 2 fifths. Again, if we put this on our calculator, we should get about 2.57 units squared. Now to find, as you see that this is an underestimation of the area, and this is uh, an overestimation of the area. To get a better estimation, we may consider the midpoint, which is or the average, as our book calls it, and we add both areas and divide them by two, and that would be a better estimation of the area under the curve. And to do so, we will have, so it's the midpoint or the average of the left-sided rectangles estimation and the right-sided uh, rectangles estimation. So this is the average. And it's approximately taking the two areas, 4.17 plus 2.57, dividing this by 2, we should get approximately 3.37 units squared. And we are done.